Like when I put it on my eyes, I talk to myself. Oh my gosh, like this is so good. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I'm excited about this week's because it was one of those makeup weeks where I just kept playing with different things and thinking, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to tell them about this and I'm just excited to talk to you guys about makeup because I was really loving some things. And I mean, while I can tell Timothy and he can act like he cares, and I think he does on some level, I know that you guys really get me. Like, we're, we're junkies together. So I know that you guys get excited about makeup like I do. So I just have some fun things to talk about this week. Don't mind my ugly band-aid. I don't know what I did. I cut my finger somehow. So we have an ugly band-aid with us this week. So don't mind that, but let's get to the favorites. <laughs> on my eyes this week, I finally got my hands on the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. This is kind of one of those like unicorns of the makeup world where like you think it exists but you don't know if it like really exists because it's always sold out so it's almost impossible to actually experience it in person but I did join the waitlist on this and was emailed and that's how I was able to get it and it was my friend April from Wanna Makeup. It was her video that totally pushed me over the edge that made me want this palette. So I think if you want it, like just join the wait list and you know, if it's not currently in stock right now, but um, hopefully there's a good chance that you can get it because it is a really nice palette and it's super affordable, like $12.50. Um, so I've got these three kind of like neutral blending shades. I mean, this one's not a neutral, but the mattes. That's what I've got on my eyes today, mixed with some other things. And then the face products, these are really beautiful. I mean, these have a beautiful texture to them. They really blend so nicely. I'm super impressed with the mattes. And then the face products are just, I don't know, they have just a really good texture to them where they really blend nicely into the skin. They don't stick um, or drag or anything like that, but they're really pigmented too. This is a very kind of like bridal palette to me. Like that's what I think of when I look at it because of the white and then the colors inside that they're very just kind of sweet, but also those burgundies, which are very bridal. And then that, I mean, that highlight is like so bridal right there. But you've got darker ones too, you know, like a, like this darkest um, highlight, highlight shade is very bronzy, but they're just gorgeous. Really, really nice. I love this palette. I'm going to have a blog post on it. It may already be up. I can't remember when I scheduled them all. So just be watching my blog because I'm going to have a lot of blog posts on various things with lots of swatches. So be checking there. But I love this palette. It's really, really beautiful. And then Makeup Geek Duo Chromes. I just like don't even know what to say about these because I love them so much. I put up a video, I think it was Monday, on these where I have swatches and all that. So I mostly this week was wearing the shadows because I mentioned in my video, um, I did end up accidentally cracking the um, packaging on two of my pigments because of the sifters. Like I mentioned in the video, I thought that they might crack like if I wasn't super careful and I was careful, but they did end up cracking. So anyway, I was waiting for them to be resent to me. So I didn't play with these much this week other than today I've got them on my eyes and I just, love them so much. This one is Sugar Rush. I'm not wearing this one, but this one is Kaleidoscope. This was the one that I was like, yes, you need this. 100% you need this. So what I did with these, I actually didn't put the sifters back in them. I think, I don't know. I can't figure out how to make those work without messing them up. So I just left the sifters out. But this is like, oh my gosh, it's on my eyes. You can see it. it it's just it's like the prettiest eyeshadow I think I've ever seen, really. Because like when I put it on my eyes, I talk to myself. I mean, I said that in a video too. Like when makeup makes me talk to myself and say, oh my gosh, like this is so good, then I know it's really good. And I was totally doing that. So I love that one. I really wasn't wearing it much this week, I mentioned that, but I was wearing these and I love them all. Today I've got Phantom. This is actually becoming one of my like really, really, really loving it favorites from the line because like it's so pretty on the inner corner of the eye just as a little like beautiful pinky purpley glow. It is so amazing. Oh my gosh. 
I'm definitely going to be doing a tutorial or two or three with these, hopefully, at least one for sure. Um, so you can be watching for that. But okay, so this one is Phantom and this one is Blacklight. Oh my gosh, I could go on about all of them because I really wore pretty much all of them this week and they're all amazing. But I'm just like really blown away by these pinky, purpley, turquoisey kind of colors. I think because I don't play with these colors quite as much, like as a general rule, I kind of stick more in the neutrals and earthy tones and stuff. So it's really been fun to be like playing around, be playing around. It's really fun to be playing around. It's really fun to just, I don't know, play with these kind of colors. I've really been enjoying that. And it's been a girly, duochrome ethereal kind of makeup week and I'm loving it. And then also this week I received a really sweet package from Royal Norman of some of their goodies from their winter 2015 collection, which is really, really good. So I have a couple of things to talk about, but I'll probably have more in future weeks because I'm just kind of like playing my way through everything and I'm loving everything. I get really excited about Royal Norman because I feel like they are such an underrated brand. And I mean, I was one of those people too that like I knew about them and I knew that my friend's mom loved them and used them for years, but I didn't ever really like stop into their boutiques to see what they had. And I was really missing out because they have some really good makeup and especially their limited edition collections are so fun. This one is so good. So I'm loving these two cheek products. This is the Color Stripes All A Glow. And then this other one, let me show you the other one too. This one is Sweet Cheeks. So All A Glow and Sweet Cheeks. I have eyeliner on my hand somehow. I don't even know if you can see that, but who knows where that came from? I don't know. Okay, so this one is All A Glow and this one is Sweet Cheeks. I'm wearing both of these on my cheeks today. I love them. They're beautiful individually. Chester just came in and hit a sack, so if you heard something, Chester is with us now. So All A Glow is just a very kind of like glowy, sweet, it's more of like, it's really more of a highlighter than a blush, but it could be a really light blush too. And then Sweet Cheeks is kind of like just a really beautiful neutral. Oh, I gouged it somehow. How did I do that? Accident prone me, messing up my makeup. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, so Sweet Cheeks is like a really beautiful everyday, go with everything kind of a, bl a blush. And then the All Aglow highlighter is just like a beautiful, Oh my gosh. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a peachy everyday highlighter. So together, they're magical. Individually, they're beautiful too. Love them. But what I've been doing is applying All Aglow first, just kind of like all over my cheeks pretty much. And then I'll concentrate Sweet Cheeks just kind of like right on the apples of my cheeks. Love them. And the texture of them is so nice. It kind of it's not exactly like the Clinique Cheek Pops, but it's the same sort of concept in that they're really forgiving. They're not um, one of those blushes that where you, you know, like place your blush brush, it's just gonna stick and then you're gonna really have to blend. They really just blend so nicely, but then they build on themselves. So they're just very versatile and easy to work with. I love them. And I think that the packaging is really sweet too. It's kind of like this, you know, I don't know, like, ivory sort of packaging and then it has some little like sparkle to it. It's so pretty. So I'm loving this. I have some swatches on my Instagram and I'm going to have a blog post too. May already be up. Again, I can't remember when I was going to do them all, but check my blog. It's a really nice collection though. On my lips this week, I was kind of all over the place. Sometimes I was wearing a nude, sometimes a vampy color, sometimes a pinky lip. It was just whatever I was feeling that day. But this is one of my favorites. This is the Madame Glam Wine Divine lipstick, and it's one of their shiny ones. So I wore this earlier in the week with something else, and now I'm forgetting. It was, I think it was something Pinky Berry. I don't know. But anyway, I wore it with something else, liked it with that. But I do really like it by itself because it's kind of like an easy, more like shiny sheer, kind of a plum lipstick. It really is pretty unique, I feel like, because 
a lot of the lipsticks that I have like this that are kind of more glossy and buildable are more on the pinky berry side, whereas this is more kind of like a vampy wine plum. And it has kind of like a duochrome sheen to it, which I really like. So I don't know, I feel like it's got kind of like a little bit something different going on with it because it's more of that like plummy, vampy side of that sheer berry. You know what I mean? Do you feel like that? I feel like a lot of these colors are more on the pinky berry side, whereas this one is purpley plummy. So yeah, Wine Divine, I really like it. And I think the packaging is cute too, that it's kind of like stubby and little and it's cute and it's a pretty color. I like it. And then the combo that I've got on my lips right now are these two things. And I actually wore these individually during the week, but then I just paired them together today and I think they work nicely together, but I do really like them by themselves. So first is ELF's Moisturizing Lipstick in Wink Pink. So I mentioned in my e.l.f. haul that something's strange with my Wink Pink, like it kind of almost has like a film around the outside, and some of you guys said that yours did too, and some of you said yours didn't. So I think it just kind of depends on which one you get, but I know I should have exchanged it, but I just, I haven't fiddled with it yet, so I've been wearing it, and I mean, it's, it still works fine. It just looks a little strange. So anyway, Wink Pink is like a really pretty, medium, just kind of mid-tone, never fail you kind of a pink lipstick. It really is pretty, and it's kind of like a satin finish, which I love that in a lipstick just because you've got so many options there. I mean, so many. You can either wear it matte or satin, or you can put a gloss over it. So you have all those two options with a satin lip, but I just really love the color of it, and it wears well, it smells delicious, like creme brulee, it smells so good, but it's just a beautiful mid-tone pink. And I feel like it's one of those that kind of like pairs nicely with a colorful eye because it's still sweet and girly and so kind of like pairs nicely with an, kind of an ethereal, I don't know, fairy type of makeup look, but then it's not like a bright pink. It's kind of a a more very neutral pink. You know what I mean? Hopefully you know what I mean. And it's very affordable, like $3, so it's a good one. And then the gloss I'm wearing is from Camp Cosmetics. This is in Sex Drive, and it is the prettiest sweet pink. Again, this smells amazing. Yeah, oh my gosh. This smells like vanilla, vanilla and candy, like cake or something. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it smells like, but it's good. And it's just a really pretty, like, sweet, girly pink gloss. It's really nice by itself, but you can also put it over something. So I'll put a little bit over Wink Pink. It's honestly kind of hard to see over Wink Pink, but you can see it on me. Um, I have more of the gloss than Wink Pink on right now. So I've got a little bit over it there, and then there it is by itself. So yeah, just a really pretty pink gloss. And the texture on these I really like because it's right in between, like it's not too sticky where it's uncomfortable, but it's not not sticky where it's not gonna stay. So it has, in my opinion, gloss is so like a personal preference, how, how much stickiness do you like in your gloss? I like a, a you know, medium mid-range amount of stickiness where it's not uncomfortable, but where it really does stay around on your lips for a decent amount of time, and I think these definitely do. But I just love this color. It's like just a really sweet, easy pink, and I don't know. It's really a good gloss, and it smells so yummy. That's like an added bonus about it, so love this. All right, guys, and those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week. Let me know your favorite Makeup Geek duo chromes because I am just like absolutely obsessed with them, so I would love to know some of your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Let me know your weekend plans as well. I always enjoy hearing those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! You want to say hi to everybody? Hmm? They always ask about you. You're kind of a man of few words when you come on here. <laughs> say, I'm on Snapchat way more. Follow me on Snapchat. You look so entertained right now. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>